Hi guys, here is how you can install RVC project and change voice in real time. To do that, we will need some software. So go to this RVC project GitHub page. All the links will be provided. Let's download this, scroll down and click on releases. And here is the download link. If your laptop has Intel and AMD GPU, download this one. And if you have NVIDIA graphics, then simply download this one. Now this PC is using Intel and AMD, so we have downloaded this one. Here is the file we downloaded. The file size is about 3.8 GB. So the download will take some time. Anyway, let me quickly extract it. I will extract it here. This extraction will take some time, took about 11 minutes. So it's done. And here is the folder. Open the folder and simply open Go Real Time GUI. This might take some time to load. And here is the RBC GUI. Now before starting anything, let's load some models and use other custom voices. For that, we will require a .pth file and .index file. So to download voices, go to this website, go to voice-models.com and search for the voices here. You will find lots of voices option here. You can see famous voices. If you like Andrew Tate, you can find it here. Let's try with Andrew Tate. So here is the Andrew Tate voice. So simply search for the voices and use it. Look for voices which has more epoch, but for the quality, you will have to experiment it. Anyway, let's quickly download one of the voices. I will download the Dracula one. Click here. So the file has been downloaded. Show in the folder. Open this. So you will find the index and .pth file. Now we need to move these files. Here is the exact location. PTH to wait folder under assets. Let me open the folder. Go to assets and wait. Let's add the PTS file here. I will directly drag the file here. So it is here. Now let's add the index file. For the index file, we need to add it to logs. So simply go to logs folder and let's drag the index file here. So it is all done. Close this. Now let's choose the new PTH file. So it is here. And now let's choose the index file. Here is it. So this is all done. For the input device, choose the default one. Or whatever your microphone is. Likewise for the output device, choose your speakers. I will leave this to default. Here is the brief about other settings. This response threshold is basically the sensitivity of your microphone. Pitch settings, adjust the pitch of your output voice. You can change the pitch to make it sound more natural. This index rate, if you set it higher, it will use the index model. So only if your CPU is powerful, give this to higher value or keep it to zero. Loudness factor is to control the loudness. Pitch detection algorithm, please experiment with it accordingly. PM is for less powerful CPU. Sample length, 
basically will affect the delay. If the PC is powerful, you can choose higher value or else leave it to default. Number of CPU, I will increase this to 8 as much as it is supported. So please make the changes to these settings and check what works best for you. After everything is done, simply click on Start Audio Conversion. Now when you speak, it should change your voice in real time. If you want to change settings or voice, simply stop audio conversion. Now if you want to use RVC with other applications, we will need to install another application. For that, go to this website, vv-audio cable and download it. Let me quickly download it. Show in folder and open this file. Let me create a new folder. And extract the files here. Open the folder. And now run the setup. My PC is 64-bit, so I will install this one. So the installation has been completed. Please restart your PC after installing this. Let me close this all. Make sure to restart your PC. After this is done, go to the Start menu and search for Change System Sounds. This is the one. Open it. Click on Recording. Now you will find Cable Output. Make sure this is enabled. If it is disabled, kindly enable it. I will set this as default device. So it is set to default. So everything is set up and click OK. Now you need to make some changes to the RBC2. For the input device, you can leave this to default. For the output device, look for VV cable options. If you cannot find it here, simply close this. Also close the CMD and reopen it. Click on reload the device list. And if you click on the output device, you will find VV Audio. There are few options for it, so choose as per your PC. After this, you can simply click on Start Audio Conversion and it should work. We really hope this video was useful to you. Thank you very much.